From slingshots to robots and even drones, there's a program in Baltimore looking to encourage science and technology with the city's young people. WMAR2 News Skylar Henry spent a day with one Baltimore school's STEM program working for the future by shaping young minds. Even when school is out, all you gotta do is show up and try. That's the only way we're asking. Mr. Preston's light is always on. He burns these batteries here. Harry Preston V is in charge of science, technology, engineering, and math at James McHenry Elementary Middle, right outside of downtown Baltimore. The light is on for the kids, and it's leading them. It gives the students an opportunity who generally wouldn't give that opportunity to, to meddle or, I would say, uh, to tinker uh, with, with engineering concepts. We, we go over biology, science, technology, computer science, some chemistry, some some application of all the all the different sciences together and they apply it to this our catapults being decorated them elaborate sophisticated creations that would take most people days these seventh and eighth graders are churning them out in hours mr president I helped me got some motors and stuff to hot booties to my boat so when i put it in a pool it won't be touching the water and I get the wires wet any and every material is repurposed. Bottles, caps, rubber bands, and boxes transformed into battery-powered speedboats. Because you see when a marble come down right here, it's going to go out. Mousetrap-style roller coasters, and even robots. The robots are just part of it, but again, an opportunity to just experience all the different sciences uh, without having a lot of pressure. See, it ain't go very far. With combined efforts, the University of Maryland's Social Work Community Outreach Service and the Baltimore School created the Next Generation Scholars Program. Resources for kids hungry to learn, but who don't always have the opportunity. We live in a, in a very you know, diverse city, and I think that making sure that kids from certain communities, particularly black and brown students, are learning um, about different things that maybe don't always include them. It's an inclusive approach teaching students more than math and problem solving. But also look at their life goals, because if you're able to stick to it with like building a tower, hopefully you can stick to it to other things in your life. Oh, damn it, Gabe, you got it, you got it. Lessons those that James McHenry say can change a narrative and impact future generations. I got into this specifically uh, because there's not a lot of people who look like me. There were not a lot of people uh, of color uh, in the fields that I was in. In fact, it was less than 3% when I was in school. Uh, so for me to be able to, to get more involved, you can, change, you can change entire families' lives. We're working for the future. In Baltimore, I'm Skyler Henry, WMAR 2 News.